yesterday we saw the the, the two things which which could explain why the classical model failed why the bohr's analysis of the of 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 the atom in the way he did it for hydrogen atom that failed right and there were two reasons what what were the two reasons that that kind of led us away from the bohr's model one was the dual nature of the particle and the other was for the uncertainty principle right so 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 what bohr did bohr i'll not say ignored it was not as if it was known and he kind of kind of ignored it okay so bohr bohr did not take into consideration again not because it was it was known and he did not take it into consideration because it was not known unknown purely unknown okay consideration these two things the following the first thing that that escaped him was the dual nature of the particle the dual nature of the particle okay it was the dual nature of the particle so so the particle apart from behaving like a like a particle also behaves like a wave okay so 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 particle nature is pretty well well taken into account by the classical physics but it is the wave nature okay wave plus particle nature okay so it was the wave nature this could not be factored could not be factored in the classical approach in the classical approach right now the moment that started happening for the and we see that this becomes pretty pretty much much dominating for for a microscopic particles okay and and due to this came the the heisenberg's uncertainty principle heisenberg's uncertainty principle on certainty principle right what is that that says that delta x into delta v the product of the the errors in position okay the errors in position of the in in position and velocity that has to be greater than h upon 4 pi m right now that tells us this thing tells us that that will not be thus a, a definite path cannot be taken and hence hence the trajectory is not definite not known okay so hence the trajectory is not known correct the trajectory is not known to you and we kept on taking the fixed trajectory of of a sphere right now that won't do so in in one go it violated two of these these fundamental things which were 
very very important for the microscopic particles we saw that particles above a milligram they actually are not bothered right but the moment you go to these microscopic particles we did the calculations yesterday right that that for a microscopic particle if you take if you wish to take the the error in the position to 10 to the power minus 4 meters your error in velocity became 10 to the power 4 meter per second that's a huge amount of error right and and we have we we we, we took a, a real life example right so it was this that led to the failure now once it led to the failure of it obviously anything that had to predict it with with accuracy had to take the the the, the take into consideration these two facts right and this is what the quantum mechanical model of the atom does okay so that's why from a deterministic deterministic means from the model that says we know the position we know the position as well as velocity at all times position as well as velocity at all times okay and by position you mean to say that you know the trajectory right from here we moved on to the the probabilistic approach the probabilistic probabilistic approach which says that there is always an error there is always okay there is always an error in determining the position and the velocity of an electron right and and this is what is known as the the classical approach this is the classical approach classical physics approach okay and this is called the quantum mechanical approach the quantum mechanical approach correct okay